Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Psyche and today we're going to continue the No Short Run where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty without taking a single shot or without using any heavy weapons or explosives, swords and sorcery only. It is time for Operation Spider Killer in Eastern Europe. Kind of a filler mission where we're countering a uh, dark event and gaining some intel on top of it. It should be fun. Lots of losts. Uh, potentially no chosen here. Uh, we're going to find uh, fight against a sector pod. We got a codex, so we can uh, skull jack that one. Let me just check something. Hmm. No, it's protect the device. I'm not going to do that. I was thinking about getting the gatekeeper, but nah, fuck it. No protect the device, that's not gonna happen. Setting course for sector uh, Eastern Europe. Gotta hate that uh, type. Protect the device. Nope, not happening. So the gatekeeper needs to wait a little bit longer. We need that extra gatekeeper shell in order to, uh, to upgrade our Psy amps. So, let's get the majors and uh, see if we uh, that we can level them up. Halo, Sane, Quick Feet, oh, that's good. Jammer down here needs some love as well. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Right? Right. Okay. Hawkbite is tired, so we're going to substitute with another Templar. And then let's just get Divert. Perfect, good. Let me equip everybody and uh, we go. Good. Uh, it sounds like our standard kind of setup uh, two skull checks, a little bit healing, lots of mind shields, and quite a few mimic beacons. That's good enough for me. Let's hit the road and. We get the party started good we're landing it is another relay mission where we're probably pretty time skewed menace one five the communications relay is up ahead move in and destroy nine turns target. until the data finally transfers so like i mentioned Solid's probably coming. going to be one of those we gotta hurry else it's going to be a problem mission and we're going to treat it as such uh, got some losses on the left hand side that's okay good to go hello charges okay. in that codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network we will need to move in with the skull jack to initiate the process good we technically do have the options Skull Jack, right over there. I can make it. Moving out. Moving almost everybody closer. I don't mind pulling the entire uh, map here. That would be spicing up the situation Copy a bit. That. The enemies certainly pull one another. And with them finding one another, it's on. I can see the stomping of a sector pod somewhere near, potentially near the device. Oh, that was pretty bad because it forces the thing to clone and with that of course brings even more losts Core question, do we want to fight against an avatar now or do we want to fight against it later? Excellent question, Saiken. I think now because it's fun. 
problem uh, is I happily suspect that we're going to see kind of uh, kind of a sector port somewhere here. It definitely sounds like the thing is standing here. I'm trying to find whether or not I'm right. So far, uh, it doesn't seem like that. Good. We got uh, Hale up here. And I would like to kill both of the Vipers. I've been detected. So we're starting to get revealed. And shit is now officially starting to hit the fan. Yep, there we go. All right, so you're telling me the snake has not even moved? Okay, so much for Bladestorm. Time for some flashy Reaper plays. We're ignoring the three losses over there. Is this actually going to kill it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, sixty-six percent, twenty percent crit chance. It's a pretty good chance to kill it. We got some backup plan if it wouldn't work. There you go. All right, those guys really don't matter. Alright, ignore the heavy mech for now. Ignore the troopers for now. Good, that's one more down. One down, thousands to go. We're taking the uppermost edge right here. Uppermost edge right there. Good, because that might give us enough movement to actually reach something else which it did not okay cool so we theoretically got a mimic beacon which we may or may not use school check yes or no that's the question i'll keep him for the advanced teamwork uh, talents for now And let's fulfill the Avatar fight. Perfect. We barely unlocked that. That was, I think, on point. Fantastic. There is uh, the first avatar that we're fighting. Okay, so he's just barely out of range. Okay, cool. Got you. Moving up. Getting some nice extra focus right there. Their armor is tough. Good. 
Right, before we're moving there, by the way, why do I have two mimic beacons? Like, how is that even how is that even a thing? Good, we're charging in. Nice, he's burning. That is good. Took a pretty far away place, which is not so good. Also can't really reach them from there. We could aid protocol and um, cover protocol, and that's not bad. I would hand over in advance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not going to do that yet. Let's first of all put a mimic beacon right here. That way, if someone like moves in, they will take they will take um, an eight um, a blade storm. It wants teamwork. Move over, and that'll give us some extra turn here. And I'm still trying to kill the avatar. It can theoretically burn for three. So maybe it is dead. Let's see where it repositions. Nasty, nasty positioning. We're going to parry right there. We could theoretically advance teamwork back. And then use yet another a uh, combat protocol to kill this guy. Is it worth it? He will burn. He might not die. Or we could get a null lens or a shot. You know what? It's actually, I mean, it is super, super resource intense. And normally I would never do it like using two advanced teamworks. But here's the thing. If you ask me what is better, using all of these resources and have the avatar die like a hundred percent, which just happened, or face the chance of maybe of maybe having the problem uh, to deal with it next turn. That's not even that's not even a question. Of course we're going to uh, kill the avatar. Good. Beacon is down. Not even close. Good. At least our blade storm sort of works. Meanwhile, the stun lancer here has a couple of issues uh, himself. Scorch does not have blade storm. We just got to keep that in mind when we're doing something. Ignore the loss over here. And instead, just move over here for now. We got Untouchable going for us. Plus a nice little promotion. So given that we do have Untouchable, might as well use it in our, uh, to our advantage. Meanwhile, let's move up here. Could have, by the way, moved in for a school check. I'm not sure if I would have wanted that because there is a chance that the sector pot is right there. That's affirmative. Moving further in, let's shortly That's deal good. with the mech here.
I'll take the 50 50. Could have just stunned it, but I don't see a point in uh, that for now. Good, moving up. Normal hit. Pretty good. That armor's tough. All right, this here should be a kill. X-ray down. Some bonus loot, which is fine. We got untouchable. I would wait with the teamwork, to be honest. Untouchable, untouchable, and moving up here. No blade storm. We just got to keep that in mind. So, how are we going to deal with that? We got two blade storms here, so might as well position ourselves there. So, if anything, specifically the. Um, Specifically, the uh, stun lancer would want to come in. They gotta move through this. And. Let's also aid protocol. Alright, that's untouchable gone. Interesting decision. He paid for uh, with his life for that decision. Like, quite literally. Good. So who has the katana? Hey, look. Over here has it. And how about we're just showing the stun lancer what we think about uh, taking a shot at us. Finally found the sector port. Hurt him uh, throughout the entire time, like somewhere back there. We're going to teamwork over. Alop still has some more, some more actions to take. We could vault kill over here. I think that's not a bad idea. Generally speaking, we could also continue to move in and we're definitely going to use our mimic beacon. So quick feet moves up. Now we're not going to waste it on a lost. Lancer will die anyways, or ignoring the trooper. I think for now, let's focus on the heavy mech. 
as the second target that needs to die. We got a Mimic Beacon here, so that's good. We got plenty of losts coming in. We could kill, then move to here with kind of untouchable. Uh, we know for a fact that there is another pack here. We've already seen uh, that. In terms of healing, one hit point will really not uh, be a make or break. I think it's fair to use the vault and just get rid of uh, this guy. That way we're at least going to do something meaningful with it. Be wary of my mark. There we go. Answer down. We're definitely going to use the Mimic Beacon. In terms of moving in, this here could be a good thing. I think we're going to go about it because that could be the Bladestorm uh, kill that we're looking for. No, it's actually even a kill with the burning. Fantastic. That works out. Halop gets an 8 protocol. Good, let's focus on whenever you're in such a difficult spot. Let's try to focus on the enemies that matter the most. Clear the battlefield. Sector 4 deals a lot of damage, but Killing all of the smaller enemies will actually be beneficial. Ooh. I like the combat protocol, but what are the odds of shutting it down for one round? Sixty percent is not too bad. I mean, it's not great, but it is also not too bad. We're going to try that, or are we just going to hack and slash it down? Hmm. Hey, why does it go? We already have a pretty decent setup. This guy here is dead. The losses are really not a big threat. We could move up here, kill this uh, guy, and then um, just stand here and protect everybody with our blade storm. Rolling. Just going to move uh, back because I don't want to be hit by the loss. So yeah, by thinking about it, you know what? Uh, fuck it, maybe the right uh, play is to be a bit ballsy and try to take him out and uh, save a Mimic Beacon. I'm not going to heal for one hit point. The Halo is not in risk of dying. And that was good. It's a pretty decent shutdown for two rounds. And with that shutdown, it will not do anything. And by it not doing anything... Is this here, is that guy still alive? Yeah, we're, we just can't see it. 
You know, I think I'll just position myself here. Ah, that we wouldn't have untouchable. <coughs> and I think we need untouchable. Alright, in placeable, we're positioning ourselves now over here. That means everybody <coughs> would fun funnel through that area. More lost. Um, it is a party. But yeah, we do not fear the lost. Okay, so I got one. Alright, this is where Bladestorm is going to shine because all of that huddling up and just swarming us is going to not end well for them. Yeah. Fuck you. Everybody just died. Good, and we needed that untouchable for the one hit that he theoretically could have taken. Okay, cool. Good, we're charging in. Gathering a tiny bit of focus, dealing some damage, but not enough to kill all of them. That's okay. Got our Mimic Beacons, which I appreciate. And now it is time for a protocol for Halo here. And then once that is done, we are comment protocoling the sector pod as we originally wanted to do overall fantastic damage but is this here going to see the sector pod yes it is can't really um, haywire it yet. That is unfortunate. I was hoping to keep it in check. I we're probably going to uh, resort back to a Mimic Beacon again. Ignoring all of the loss, to be honest. At this point, it is just bare survival. We might take some explosion damage here, if I'm completely They're honest, up. just by how they are positioned. Moving to position. Positioning ourselves over here. And throwing a beacon down. Yeah, I don't want to heal Halop yet. So instead, I'll just park uh, him up here for better vision over the entire battlefield. Sector port moves will take two blade storms, and that should kill it. And that again triggers explosion, which I mentioned, unfortunately. Deals some damage. Come on, focus. Wow, the amount of misses is spectacular. Happy now. All right, that one hurt. Fire. Oh. 
Fantastic. Halo takes a heal. Divert could use a heal as well. So why not? So, patch him up. No one is severely hurt. But yeah, the explosion of the sectopod. We did not have enough range fighting capabilities to go through it, unfortunately. This will trigger another pack. I'm fully aware of it. Almost. Almost triggers a new pack. Well, well. This will trigger a new pack. Menace one five, we confirmed destruction of the relay. Well, hello the there. Mission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Halo moves up. And let's put the Mimic Beacon right there so that all of you want to melee attack it. Wouldn't that be a fantastic idea? I bet you it would. And somehow we ended up in the middle of fire again. And one more comet protocol, which we're probably going to use in order to kill that mutant. Oh, look at you! Ah, damn. I figured I could outsmart it with two blade storm attacks. But yeah, apparently everybody is missing. <laughs> Not even sure if he's if he's trying to attack the right person at this point. Holy smokes, how is that possible? Got another mimic beacon. Okay, fine. Fantastic. So this will trigger untouchable, so I'm going to do a little trick here. Which is... Kill the Lost. Trigger untouchable. Untouchable makes me immune against the retaliation attack of that poor, poor... Uh, of that poor, poor uh, mutant. Then what we're going to do is... We're just going to hurt the mutant real bad so that it will die when we're hitting it once good it's softened up now even if it retaliates we retaliate even more and it will die And we're jumping even further through the map. Slash after slash after slash after slash. Well, yeah, that worked.
And look at that. Cool, yeah, we're not going to go in that uh, loss will come to us. It will eventually run into us and we'll take two Bladestorm attacks and hopefully die. Even more losses are coming closer. That's a hit. And a kill. Hostile neutralized. Starting to get cooked. Oh boy. What is the explosive here? Good. Natalie will just, for the sake of doing it, do it. She's immune to the explosion. So might as well. It might trigger yet another swarm. Let me take care of the ones with the highest hit points, like this guy here. X-ray down. Good, I think. We're probably going to see how Bladestorm solves most of uh, those problems. Now that everybody has kind of unplaceable and untouchable going. The only regret is if we're triggering actually yet another swarm. Yeah, they don't like when they're being flanked. They're targeting me. Okay, cool. Good. Let's kill the remaining guys right over here. Okay, can't really find anyone back there. This might be the last loss. I do have the dull feeling that there is still one under the balcony. Yeah, there is still one under the balcony. Is it clear? Two, actually. Will do. All right, I'll go. All right, I hope that we can finish these guys this turn. Because next turn, yet another Lost Swarm is going to appear. One down, thousands to go. And that might be the last one. There you go. Yeah. 50 enemies. Pretty decent and packed mission, right? Well, hello there, and welcome back. If things weren't bad enough between the elders, their alien armies, and the children. I didn't even you check if we got, daddy. if we got a promotion. So we counted rural checkpoints, which is twice the, uh, 
twice the cost for recruitment permanently, so that was not bad, although we're not like really recruiting. We still got two promotions. Number one, uh, we got a colonel. Quick feet finally made it. Congratulations, buddy. And we got another one with Jammer, who is now almost uh, there. And you know what? You can have your uh, your bond. I don't mind. So yeah, most of the guys are colonels now. Shen managed to pull a set of encoded coordinates from a vial we recovered at the alien black site. And it looks like we're headed towards another as of yet on Plus we got ourselves this creature an avatar may be a critical piece of the avatar project that's fantastic Your got uh, got some immediate relief uh, there that was important so avatar uh, is back in avatar project is back in order plus we can now research the avatar itself oops wait we don't want to deal with a ufo course for the mexican regional track We do have four facilities, so we theoretically could also engage in another facility. We don't have any shortage of actual runs here. We could uh, get rid of all of the facilities. But yeah, I mean, it's not really difficult to do that at this point. Good. Guys, let's hope that the hunter is not ready to shoot us down. Oh shit, I forgot. Click uh, too fast. Alright, that one is not a problem. That one is not a problem. Hidden event might be an uh, issue. We got another facility soon. That's an issue as well. And the, all of that is okay. Let's double check what the Chosen is up to. Ooh, he's not there yet. He's trying to retribute. Perfect. Perfect. That's the month that we needed. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Yeah, that's another facility. Like I said, easy peasy. We're going to see some improvement um, of the Advent project, but if it gets too rough, we're just going to raid another facility. I think we got one last soldier available. Might as well put another ranger in training, just in case. And yeah, this here would be kind of our backup team, like I mentioned. Quite a few rangers. So these guys would come in whenever a side trip is in place and when we really really need them let's move on i want to fast forward and get the training done nine dutch uh, that is good let's see what the new options are will will promotion and progress that's a nice combination we might even uh, do that Another promotion in progress. That's a great combination. Mobility plus one isn't bad either. All right. Well, there are a couple of actual, actually decent uh, rewards here. I think the reduction of avatar progress and the promotions might be something that I could see us doing. We really don't have supreme kind of secondary uh, rewards. The only thing with a mobility plus one could be something. Like who needs a promotion? Halo uh, could, uh, could take one from Major to Colonel. Yeah, so let's do that. 
and we're just going to go with that. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Just for for full completion. Got some more bond training going. Yes. And our team of uh, Psy operatives is at bond level two. So maybe there's, there was even a reward uh, that allows them to get the higher bond level. I'm not sure if we can put them onto the um, uh, onto the resistance missions. Technically, we can. So there shouldn't be anything that prevents us from doing it. And another raid, which might be a gatekeeper. Yep, finally there's our gatekeeper that we that we desperately, desperately need. So the next mission is going to be important because we want to get the upgraded uh, the upgraded uh, amplifiers. Also, we want to get uh, an Icarus armor, so hopefully we get some loot with one Alarium in there. Anything else that we can upgrade at that point that I haven't done? Yeah, not really. These things are all unnecessary. Yeah, we want that and that only the alien psi amp that is important and if possible the Icarus suit good that brings us to the end of this mission i hope you enjoyed the slaughterhouse with uh, all of the loss and next up we're going to go into a supply raid which is always fun so stay tuned if you like the content uh, leave a comment and a like down below that helps uh, the youtube algorithm to understand that that content here is good and uh, eventually brings more people to the channel. Thank you. If you enjoy it, uh, uh, tune in in two days. Bye-bye and take care.